Hello guys, welcome back to another unboxing video and today we're unboxing the OnePlus 9 5G. Uh, I've got the lovely Debbie recording with her phone so I'm sorry if any audio visual quality is not very good but let's get started. So here we're just unboxing it so there's nothing, can, well there is actually something in there. Oh what is it in here? I don't know. There it is. So some some papers, your startup kit, whatever it is, uh, UK stuff, whatever. But we care about the phone. So if I can show you, wow, look at that. Wow, that is some phone. And I don't know if it's showing the the thing, but or any of the, of the reflection, sorry. But um, yeah, it's a nice deep purple. Wasn't planning to go for it, but um, yeah, I hopefully it's in the camera. Uh, so I will turn it on in a minute. Okay, so. Hello, get started. We are not in the United States, we're in the UK Kingdom, start. Um, I will just say, it is quite light compared to, I mean, I'll just quickly get out my old phone. Uh, there it is. Um, the weight difference, this is probably more plastic. This was metal, if you remember, in the previous review. And um, I actually like the rounded corners. I will continue setting it up and I will be with you once it's all done. Okay, well I've set up my phone, but it doesn't seem to be, it seems to be rather white. But um, so far, uh, everything seems to have completely copied and pasted. And it's really weird, like I'll go in my shopping and there's all the shopping apps in the exact precise location. And I don't know, maybe I kind of wanted to change. But anyway, um, I'm very happy with it. Uh, the clicky thing, I've heard that people have complained um, about it just being too easy to click. And I can kind of see that, but we'll see. Apparently there's accidental clicks, that's the issue. Anyway though, um, I will do the outro and we are <laughs> looking at something. <laughs> hey guys, sorry, I actually forgot to, you know, record the inside bit of this box and because it's an unboxing I find it's quite important to do that uh, but it is a good excuse to um, give you some more first impressions because I've been using the phone for a couple of days and also to show off the camera so this camera is 1080p 60 fps it can go up to 8k 8k but it's not um, it's not 60 hertz so I kind of wanted the smoothness so anyway, so we open up here and look at that. Nice new cable. Standard. And this big chunky device, which is so fast. It might be quite chunky, but trust me, this charges, this is meant to charge my phone battery up in about 30 minutes. So that's quite good. But yeah, I thought I'd mention I'd mention this, this was included, and as well as, it's not Apple, so it's free. So, this is what the uh, the front camera looks like. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, maybe I should face that way. There you go, the light's a bit better that way. Um, it's 60 FPS, which is, I was didn't even know that existed, but it makes sense. And, um, yeah, I'll just tell you a couple of first impressions. Uh, I wasn't really the biggest fan of the haptic feedback um, on the, you know, when I was typing and stuff, but I got used to it, so, and I actually quite like it. So, you know, give yourself a couple of days and you might prefer it. But I did find it a bit weird at the start, to be honest. Um, what else did I not like? Uh, I'm a bit disappointed there's no zoom camera on the 9. You have to spend a bit more and get the 9 pro and there's no image stabilization now it is quite smooth if i sort of move around a bit but that's um i think that's software there's no os i don't i don't know it's 
image, you know. But I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's it's not the hardware where the lens moves around. I can at least describe it. Um, and the other thing is on the OnePlus home screen, there's like a little dock thing that you can go out. This is called the shelf. Um, I used it so much on my OnePlus 3, and it's annoying that you can, it, it, when you swipe to the left or the right, wh whichever way, um, it's just not there. And there is a way of getting it, but you have to swipe down. And I like the fact that when you swipe down, it swipes down all your notification bar and that. So yeah, those are my uh, first impressions. And I hope, you know, I'm not going to do a, a full review, but this is as much as you're getting. So I'll see you in the next clip I'm about to play. <laughs> oh, and the front quality on the camera is actually not bad. I will just mention that as well. I'm slightly disappointed that there's no headphone jack. It's something that I personally use, even when I normally use Bluetooth for when I'm walking around. Um, but it's a bit disappointing. And it didn't come with the uh, headphone jack to plug into the USB Type-C port. So that's a bit disappointing. But maybe that's more for every company than, you know, and it's just a trend. Right, well, this is it and this is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my unboxing of the OnePlus 9 5G, I think, but I'm never going to use 5G, so I don't know why they put it there. Anyhow, uh, please like, comment, subscribe for more quality videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, and thanks to Debbie for filming.